for obvious reasons, shopping for a new TV has changed this year. But the truth is, TV buying has been slowly evolving for several years now. Everything from when the prices start going down to when and where the sales pop up has almost certainly changed since you bought your last TV. I've got everything you need to know to get the best TV at the best price coming right up. Hey everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison, and yes, today I'm going to reveal a few secrets and give you some handy tips on when and how to get the best deal on the best TV for you. First, let's talk about timing. New TVs have historically started coming out in April, and by June, just about every new TV that's coming out for the year has hit store shelves. There are some notable exceptions. TCL and Vizio tend to go for late summer product launches, but for the most part, we see new TVs coming out late spring. From April through September, TV prices tend to be at their highest. These are brand new TVs after all, but come October, that's when we start seeing some price drops and the prices will keep on dropping through February with a few hot sales along the way. One of the biggest events is right around the corner too, so stay tuned to learn more about that. Your first move should be to make a short list of TVs you're interested in and start tracking their pricing earlier in the year if you can, though it's never too late to have a qualified list of options. I've got two tips on how to do this a little later in this video. Now, here's how the TV discount cycle works these days. October is sort of a price drop warm up for November, and this is when we'll see some meaningful and usually permanent price drops. This continues through November, which tends to feel like one long precursor to, you guessed it, Black Friday. But contrary to popular belief, the best prices aren't restricted to just Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Often the best TVs will be discounted well ahead of the day after Turkey Day. So if you're seeing a great price on a TV you've been eyeing for a while, I say go ahead and pull the trigger. It's unlikely the price will get much better during the holiday shopping season. Black Friday through Cyber Monday actually tends to favor doorbuster deals and loss leaders. These are TVs that aren't especially fancy, usually in short supply, and are priced so low you're almost crazy not to buy one if you can get your hands on one. I call these why not TVs. Chances are there's an older TV in your home that needs replacing, or maybe you've been thinking of putting a TV out in your garage and this is the perfect moment to make that happen. Once the holiday shopping season is past, we tend to see TV prices sort of level out. They aren't on a super sale, but they also aren't as expensive as they were when they first came out. And then comes our second biggest TV sale of the season, the Super Bowl. Yep, nothing drives big screen TV sales like the biggest US sporting event of the year. This is a time when you will see some insanely large screen TVs on sale for extremely tempting prices. Think of it like Black Friday, but for football. There will be a handful of deals you just can't pass up, along with lower pricing on TVs in general. Again, this is a great time to buy. Perhaps, however, the best time to buy actually comes after the Super Bowl. See, at this point in late February, we're moving closer and closer to the launch of the year's newest TVs. That means last year's TVs need to clear out of warehouses to make space for the new stuff. And this is when you can score the best deal of the year if you make your move quickly enough. The risk here is that something you've been waiting for could go out of stock quickly. And there's one more risk to buying in late winter slash early spring, the potential for buyer's remorse. To that, I say, just don't. There's no reason to get a case of FOMO over the new stuff that's coming because year after year, improvements tend to be incremental. And remember, those slight improvements are gonna cost a whole lot more. If you wanna wait, you're waiting a good six months for the prices to go down. So I say, don't sweat it. So that's the TV sales cycle. What about getting the right TV? This is a big investment for most folks after all. And right now, it's not like it's all that practical to go into an electronic store and go browsing. And even when you can do it, it's not that helpful. Most of the TVs there are set up on a super, super bright mode to compete with the bright lights of the store. And they don't look anything like that in your home. A better idea, read or watch TV reviews online. No, this is not just a shameless plug for my TV reviews. I mean, sure, please do check them out, but also check out the reviews of some of my colleagues as well. I think what you'll find is that we tend to have pretty similar opinions and we tend to look at the best values in TVs as well as the best performing TVs. A lot of us also like to do comparisons between the most popular models. And I would say the best TV reviewers seek to help you figure out what the best TV for you is based on a list of common priorities. So there you have it. 
Do your research. Buy in the fall and winter months. Take your time making bigger purchases. But don't feel bad about a knee-jerk buy on a cheaper TV. And most of all, don't forget that stores and online outlets have return and exchange policies for a reason. Just because you got it home doesn't mean it has to stay there. You can make some exchanges and find the best one for you. With a little bit of effort, you can get the best TV for you at the best possible price.